Hello, good morning, good morning. Okay, dog. I don't know if anybody is on watching, um, but if you are, happy Boxing Day to you. Um, I'm here a little bit later than normal. It is a Tuesday, so I thought I should still come on and do a live. It's not actually part of... Um, it's not actually part of a coffee and card. It's a little bonus. And I'm going to be making a card with some papers that are going to be available very soon. So if you are on, because apparently I've got five people watching, <clears throat> which is more than I thought I would with, without really mentioning what time I'd be on. Please do say hello. Um, I've got my new Christmas mug. I've got, well, it's, it's not really Christmas. Uh, it was a Christmas gift from my son's so it's, it's rather another rather large mug and it's a starbucks london uh mug and it's absolutely fantastic hi chris thank you for commenting so i've got six people on now so i'm enjoying the coffee in this it is rather a large mug but it's lovely really lovely um sandra's on you're not lonely or at a loose end i know you don't have to be <clears throat> but i just thought i know that some of my ladies um live on their own and um so i want to and i know that a lot of people not rely on the tuesday mornings because that's probably the wrong word to use but a lot of my customers um they love the community and they love the company on a tuesday morning so i thought it's a long time until next tuesday so let's um everyone is welcome it's nice to have someone to craft with. Did you get anything crafty for Christmas? I did actually, but it was, but it's not stamping up. I'm trying a new craft because obviously, well, not obviously, but paper crafting is now my job and I still do enjoy it, but it's probably not, um, I don't often make cards just for me because they're mostly all for classes and things. So um, I love the stamping up products and I love this time of year because I've got lots of crafting to do um, from the new celebration and the mini catalogue. So I've got a ton of crafting to do this week. What a hardship. Um, but yeah, I've just said to Craig, I've got loads of crafting to do. Well, he's got loads of Lego to do. So um, that's that's all good. So I did get something which I will share with you. Um, I'm going to show you a card that I made with some papers that you can get free from the 4th of January as part of our celebration offering. Um, so I hope you had a lovely day yesterday. We had a really lovely day, if if um, you can indulge me a moment. We were first Christmas in our new house, first Christmas with a dog. Um, wasn't sure how that was going to go because she's fond of trying to get things from the table when we're eating. Um, so anyway, my parents came round. <clears throat> Craig went to pick them up about two-ish. I cooked Christmas dinner for the four of us and um, it went really well, actually. Um, I'd got it all organised. I did turkey, did everything um, from scratch almost, yeah. Turkey crown, we had roasted carrots, roast potatoes, red cabbage, sprouts, pigs in blankets, um, Yorkshire puddings, homemade, homemade Yorkshire puddings went really well. Had to get the timing spot on, but I did it. I had my little chart that I'd written out. So that went well. And then my boys came round at tea time and we played some games. Um, they came round for two or three hours, which was lovely. Um, so, yes, it was full on. Um, and the dog the dog was so well behaved. She, she of course, she was hungry. But I'd got, like, treats and I'd got that she had her own bowl of some turkey and things like that. So it was all good. It was all good. Right, let me turn the camera around. Just put my catalogues down there. And she hardly slept all day, so she's absolutely shattered now. Okay. Oh, hi, Jill. Yes, I did. Thank you. I hope you did too. Had my nails done just before, uh, although I've chipped one, so I need to go get it repaired. So I had like, they're a bit balmy blue. Um, well, yeah, balmy blue, I'd say. So yeah, had those done just before Christmas. Um, right, shall I show you my cross stitch? I sent Betty. Betty's not on today. 
because I know better. Oh, I've got 11 of you on now. So it was very much worth doing. Please say hello if you're on. So I got this. It didn't come in this folder. I put it in. Craig's parents sent me some money. I sent Craig some money to get me something and asked me, asked him, did it get me something else as a sort of surprise? But I've got this cross stitch kit. Now, I wanted to get back into cross stitch. Cross stitch was probably my first craft or when I was about 18. Um, and I used to really enjoy doing it and did quite large cross stitches um, kits. Anyway, I saw this New York one and it's very, very similar to a photo that Craig took when we first went to New York. So this is it. It is so similar to a photo he took. It's untrue. It's like early morning and it's raining and there's the reflection of the puddles and things. It's just so, so similar. So I got this cross stitch kit. Well, these are the list of colours. <laughs> and yeah, one of the colours, the greys, there's 5,253 stitches on that one. So yeah, it, it could be a challenge. Craig doesn't think that I'll be able to do it. But I did have a little go yesterday, but I need to buy a frame. But this is the chart, and this is only one portion of the chart. Um, and I've done that bit that highlighted. But do you know what? I really liked it. I loved doing it. And Craig doesn't think I know what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing. It's just getting organised. And um, there's so many threads in it. Um, yeah, there's so many threads in it to do. So I'm just going to do a little bit of day. Um, so yeah and so that's 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 my one of my crafty christmas presents and um i do need to get a frame to put it in or a big hoop um but the problem is i didn't i haven't cross stitched for about I think in 25 years at least at least and my eyesight since then has deteriorated somewhat so it's quite small it's quite small but i there's a chance well i might be having i might be having an operation uh next year in the springtime so um but don't worry all is fine all is good um so this could be my project when i'm recovering so yeah that was my um sort of crafty present that i got um anyway so i'm gonna do a card today using this bundle which betty when you watch this on catch up betty's after this one this punch this hexagon punch is just gorgeous and this stamp set it has been available already and it is actually available now i think you could get it as a bundle it's only 30 something um i'll just check that i'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalog um just found it until it goes live i'm not allowed to show it it's 36 pounds and there's actually a celebration item when you spend 45 pounds there's another stamp set that fits in with this which i have got i think yes and i might actually use that today on my card hang on this is the celebration item that you could get but also bits in the punch so it's a set of six stamps so you can get that free with a spend of 45 pounds so you could get this bundle 36 and then something else for nine pounds and then you get this for free we love celebrations 4th of january to the 29th of february get an extra day this time because it's a leap year next year um so we're very quiet on the chat but i've got 16 people watching so that's nice right i'm gonna do a card that i did on my bingo night the other week last week and um i gave them this kit so they all got a kit i'll show you what we made actually you might be interested um they all got a kit they got a full sheet of basic white as well and they got four cards um which are bubble bath fresh freesia lemon lolly and boho blue they also got a quarter of a pack of the flight and airy papers that are a celebration item now i've got some scraps here in i've started using and i would really recommend them hang on i've got 
some little pieces that I've already cut. I've started using, you can buy our stamp cases, but I've started putting my small scraps in them and punched out shapes. And sometimes I, I have my cards in them actually. If I'm doing a coffee and card, I've started putting the um, cards in there to keep them. Like I'll just show you, for example, put my money where my mouth is. This is the next round of coffee and card that starts next Tuesday. So all the cards are in there. So that's that's my organisation level at the moment. I'm trying to start start the next year in, in organised mode. So I need to show you the papers. As I said, they are a celebration freebie. Oh, this is another celebration freebie. Let me just find some papers. Right, here's some. I'm not going to break into one of the packs, so I'll just have to show you what I've got because I need that other pack for the people who are doing my new catalogue launch, which is on Sunday, the 7th of January. If you haven't joined already, you still can. And there are three options if you don't want a kit, if you don't need a catalogue. There's um, an option just to watch. I've put the booking link on the bottom, which is five pounds. There's an option to get a catalogue and watch, which is eight pounds, or you can get a kit. Now the kit's gonna be something similar to this, but we're also gonna be doing some other cards as well with some other papers. So the ladies got these cards, they've got a sheet of white, and then they've got a um, quarter of a pack of these papers. I have cut a lot of them down. Now this paper with the birds on, you get 34 full birds. So I think I cut it in half and they got 17 birds each. Um, so this is what we use. All right. And I will show you the three cards that we did. We did the, if you did coffee and card, the last round with me, the coffee and craft, we did the um, stack, cut and shuffle. We also did it with the these papers. So here are these beauties. I'll show you them a bit more in detail. So, oh, look at my nails sort of go. It's lovely having nails. I'm going to have to keep up to them now, aren't I? Oh, I've got some new comments. Um, it takes an hour to do a square inch. Oh, heck. Well, you could be right there. I think most of the time I spent looking at trying to get the needle in the right hole. But I tell you what, Jill, it took me 10 minutes to thread the blinking thing. Um, I might have to get a bigger needle. So any cross stitch tips, please pass them on to me. Um, so this is one card. Oh, hi Kay, did have a lovely Christmas day. I hope you did too. Thank you for joining and thank you for leaving a comment. Or oh, joining in the chat, not leaving a comment. So this is, so these, these were made um, with the stack cut and shuffle technique, which I did just one stamp set which I just showed you the bundle. I'll show you again. One pack of papers, one ink pad, a grey ink pad, uh, my favourite linen thread, the, the old jewellery technique with the ribbon and the linen thread. Um, and if anyone wants to make these, if you're going to have a crafty day, the measurements, if you want to write this down, you can watch this back. You need to cut, I'm in UK, I'm on centimetres. You, you cut three pieces of paper that are nine centimetres across, nine by 13.3, okay? nine by 13.3 and then your white piece behind the back is 9.5 by 13.8 9.5 by 13.8 so it's half a centimeter more then you've got quite a nice border around the edge you've got half a centimeter all the way around so there's no gap in between the papers they are um pushed up together now i'm not showing this today because we did this on coffee and card the other week if anybody wants to um have that link I could probably find that link and pop it in the comments shortly so that's a little idea for you what we are going to do is we're going to try this quilted technique okay so it's like doing a bit of quilting on your card Um, I know my lovely friend and customer Val loves to do some quilting so we're going to have a go at this now one thing I will say about this you have to get your cutting and your measuring you have to get them absolutely bob on okay and what you need and i've already cut some because we did this on the bingo night the other night and i started to demo it to the ladies 
and I actually cut the papers. So I'm going to use the ones that I've already cut to make use of those. And because I've kept them in here, I'm quite organised, aren't I? Which is nice. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you need. And it's a lovely little technique that you can do with any papers. Um, right, so what we're going to do, let me just get that. As I say, you do have to get your measuring spot on. So you're going to take a piece of white card and you're going to cut it three inches square. Okay, that's already cut. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to cut it to three and a quarter inches square. Hi, Jill's Craft Space. You're watching while making pate. The grandkids are coming today. Oh, that's been brilliant. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Oh, hi, Amy. If you're on Facebook, if you're watching on Facebook, do pop over. It's over there to YouTube. Um, there's a bit more chit chat on YouTube. Same, same thing, Paper Haven on YouTube. Right, so I've cut one at three inches and one at um, three and a quarter. We don't need that for now. Right, and you need to cut nine pieces of paper that are one inch. Okay, so we're going to basically do a little cube. Ignore this for now of papers. All right, so we're going to do three across, three down. A bit like Sudoku. Yep. Now, when you're cutting them, just make sure you don't sort of cut through birds. It's a look a bit silly if you cut through them. So if you're going to pop birds on them, then you might want to have sort of whole birds like I have there, if you can see. So you might have to like just adjust where you're cutting. All right. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little bird in that corner. All right. I'm going to put them all on first and decide where I want them so they don't have to be perfectly exact now oh did anybody watch the Strictly Christmas special honestly I always think oh I always think it's a bit of a come down after the you know main Strictly and my goodness I blooming loved it I thought this one been I thought it was one of the best Christmas specials they've done and there was a couple of people on it and I thought get them in the get them on the main one so if you watched it do do tell me please do let me know right this is getting a little bit busy I think I might need a plain one I don't, oh I have got a plain one there Okay, so I'm going to have these, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So obviously they're a little bit wonky for now. Yes, Sally Nugent was brilliant. But my favourite was the lad who won. I mean, you know, it's it's typical Christmas special. They do leave a decent, decent dancer to the end. But the lad from EastEnders, Jamie, he was having the time of his life. But he was great. He he was just, he's wanted to be on it for ages. And I'm like, Jamie, you need, they need to get him on the real one. And I thought Danny Cipriani, the rugby player, did a really good chat show, actually. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Very much so. I didn't watch it till a lot later because the boys were here. I think it was um, about nine o'clock when I watched, we watched it eventually. I say we. But don't say, don't tell anyone but the dog and Beulah and Craig had fallen asleep for most of it. So I had a very peaceful watching of Strictly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop these on and they go right up to the edges. 
Yeah. You do have to. Do you know what I might do? Oh, let me get my new. Oh, it's still in its wrapper. I was going to get my new glass mat out, which you can get free when you join Stamping Up. I was going to craft on my glass mat. Jamie was brilliant, wasn't it? Okay, I thought it was brilliant. Cheeky chappy. I was pleased for Nancy because I like Nancy. And she had Les, didn't she? So, in the main show this year. I've not, I didn't watch anything else. Okay, so these should just, if you've got your cutting right, they should just fit on. We're making a cube of them. Okay. Got 12 or I've lost some people now. If you're on YouTube afterwards, I know people are on and chatting, but please do leave me a comment if you're watching on the replay, because it does help my channel. If you're new and you're on YouTube, please do do the like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, because it. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I've not been doing as much on it this year because of one thing and another, but um, I don't know whether you know. I might put that one in the middle. And that one there, I think that could look good. Yeah, I think I'll do that. What I try not to do, a bit like Sudoku, is have the same design in the same line. Yeah, if that makes sense to people. So have I got any other cross-stitch fans who love a bit of paper crafting, but also love a bit of cross-stitch too? you know of any good shops hit me up let me know um not that i need to buy another kit because that's going to take me but if you know any good um facebook groups for it then um yeah please hit me up because i've sewn an inch a square inch <laughs> It is Joe, isn't it? Joe, what's your surname, Joe? Because obviously it's come up as your business page. Are you a demonstrator, Joe? Oh, okay, loves cross stitch. Oh, okay, you can be my cross stitch buddy. I used to do it years ago in the 90s. And I had that, do you remember those birthday cards that you used to get that were called Forever Friends, the teddy bears? So I did some Forever Friends cross stitch, but then you used to get those country companions with the hedgehogs. And I don't know where they are. I don't know where my kits are. Um, I've not got them here anyway. So, um, oh, do you know what? I think I might put that one on. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, um, I used to sew those with the hedgehogs and the badger and I, I, I did quite a few. I never framed any of them, but I did them. I completed a few. And I had books and all sorts. Of, does anybody get a cross stitch magazine you'd recommend? I need a needle threader. I do. Right. I need to shop. I need I need a frame and a needle threader. Okay, so we've now we've now glued these onto our piece. And if you look, I've done quite a good job with the measurements of the papers because there's not much overhang. Okay, I'll have to look that up. You'll have to send me your favourite links, please, Kay. Yeah, Joe, I, I think I 34 years ago, how old I was 16. Do you know I probably started about 32 years ago? Maybe my sister came home with a little cross stitch card she'd done at school. It was a little fox. Do you know those cards you could get when it had an aperture in and you put your cross stitch behind? And I thought that is so cute. I love it. So I bought a magazine and I, I did a cross stitch 
of a, a basket of flowers and I framed it and gave it to my grandma. And when she passed away, I did get that back. Right. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to cut this now. So we've stuck these to our piece of three inch piece of card. So we're going to pop it in our trimmer at one and a half inches. I nearly said centimetres. One and a half inches. And we're going to cut like that. Yeah. And then we're going to turn it and cut again. So we're going to make four squares. So when I made this at Bingo, one of the ladies thought I was going to cut the papers up, but no, we're not. We've, we've already stuck it to the card. Okay, though. So now we have four little pieces. I know you, they're not very easy to see on my background today. So there we go. Okay. I've got 14 people now. Brilliant. Okay, now what we do, we are going to have a border here. So what I obviously what you want to do is make sure the birds are still the right way up. Okay, so I sort of put those on and you can you can do it how you want it, but I like to put all the squares in the middle like that. So in the middle there's the four squares touching. And then you get that little pattern. Oh, and look how it, it's worked out that I've got the little bubble bath pieces in the corner and I've got like my little quilt. Janet, absolutely hi to you. I've been meaning to text you because you left a comment yesterday. I've been meaning to text you, stranger, for ages. How are you? And I'm so thrilled you're on and watching. Woo! It's like a little jigsaw, yeah. I hope you're well, Janet. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I've missed you. Right. So what we're going to do is, in fact, I was thinking that every time I've moved the rose bush, she got us to the front of the house now, Janet. So every time I, I nearly put some Christmas lights on it, but I, I put them on the, I managed to get up on a chair and I put them on the porch. So now we're going to stick these down and we'll leave a little border. Oh, I'm so pleased that I've come on and done this this morning. Just checking out my measurements here, seeing if my gaps, that's not too bad. Oh, I did forever friends. Joe, we're like, um, we're like, what's that? I'm trying to think, I am forget words now at the minute. Hi, Sue. Sue, I've just shared all those cards and I've took photos this morning. I've just taken photos. It's been the first time I've had decent light because the weather is so dreadful. So I've I've took them pictures before because it's actually sunny here today on the weather app. It's a full sun. It's only four degrees, but it's a full sun. Other than that, I've not been able to take any decent pictures for about four days. Um. So oh, that's it, Joe. You're my spirit cross, like a spirit animal in cross stitch. Oh. So yeah. So we're just gluing these back on. I mean, you know, paper crafting will always be my first love, but I've just fancied something to do. I cannot just sit and watch TV. I don't know about anybody else. So the other night, I, I bought a little cheap kit from somewhere. I think it was blooming down the middle aisle in Aldi. And... Um, I had a go at, in the. I started it just to get just to get back in my head back in because I knew I was getting this Prezi for Christmas. So it was just nice. I didn't finish it and neither did any, but it was just nice to sort of refresh my memory with it. And um, I didn't look at my phone for an hour. It was great. Ah, do you know what? It's getting me crafting and in my room now. I've stuck that on. I'm not happy with 
it's just a little the border's just a little bit it's hard to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out my little my little mini trimmer you're welcome Anne. i know it doesn't feel like a tuesday but tuesdays wouldn't be the same without a bit of crafting and i'm going to just take a little bit off the edge there i'm happier with that now and a tiny bit here so yes celebration starts on the fourth that's a thursday now i think i'm happy with that okay doke oops Yep, so there we have our little quilt. I know, I can't, Sandra. Yeah, Janet, let's catch up. Let's go for a coffee or something, yeah? That would be lovely. Um, so, because I can leave the dog now. I can leave her for two or three hours now. She's 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 getting better. Um, so, um that's that's the little in fact i've got i've got something to tell you because when i did make this the other week for the bingo honestly i had about two failed attempts this one's not brilliant the one i did for bingo but this has been my best one. <laughs> oh, good morning paper and ink and stitchy things um thanks for joining me please tell me your real name um yes we'll have a coffee date janet that'd be great um so yeah that's been my best attempt so it's nice to do to do it again so we've got our nice little quilt as again you know i i love as i say again i love using scraps up i love sharing how to use scraps up um on your cards all right so that's our piece now that's quite detailed so we don't really need much more now the first one i did i did it on the boho blue but i have got the card bases left I don't think that's going to work, no, because there's not much yellow in the pieces that I have used. Now, that could be nice, but I'm thinking the bubble bath could be nice. Oh, look at that. I'm going to use the pink. This is the bubble bath, okay? Oh, Anne, brilliant. Oh, Anne, it's good to have you on. So that's going to go on there like that. All right. Now, as I said, I don't need to do anything else. I don't want to put anything over because I've spent all that time making all the effort to cut it nicely. Um, yes, Kay, I, I, I've done that and I've remembered that from first time and I was sort of, bless Craig, he tried to show an interest in it. So he said, oh, what you do? So I was telling him that, you know, if you've got a line of all the same colour, I said, you don't do one, you go bottom left, top right, and then bottom right, top left. I said, you don't do a cross and then do another cross. You do all your, you know, your bottom left. I said, you do them all that way, and then you come back and do them all that way. So I guess I've remembered some things from from doing it right so that's ready to go on there in a moment and i pre-cut these because i've um i i did myself a kit for the bingo but what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna show you the stamp set so this is lovely because it matches with the punch i've already punched them out but i've got some spare card in case i mess up so you have these little borders I don't know if you can see, you've got this little dotted one and then this one that's a bit more solid and then all your sentiments. So you've got a sympathy one. You've got let's eat cake, Mr and Mrs. I hope your day is filled with joy, sending you lots of love and hugs. So the, the hope your day is filled with joy can fit in like that. It can't really fit in that way. I think it can. Yeah, it can, but it's quite. So you can go the other way. But then this is a celebration freebie. So you could have um enjoy your day love you more hello happy mother's day dad you're the best thinking of you this easter which is a nice to have so what i think i might do is i might stamp the oh now it's going to be hard to get this onto there normally i would say stamp and then punch but because i prepped these for myself and for the bingo ladies 
I punch them all out. So I'm going to have a go, but I know I've got spares and I know I've got spare paper card even. So if it goes wrong, it's all is not lost. I wouldn't, as I say, normally do it this way. You know what? That's not too bad. That is not too bad. It is a lovely set and I'll be sending you a, a catalogue out. Just a reminder, folks, I have got a new catalogue launch. Uh, it's a couple of hours on Sunday afternoon. It's a week on Sunday, 7th of January, and you can get a kit and we'll be using some of these papers. So I'm going to use, I think, a greeting. Now, the only thing with these is the red rubber, so you can't see through them as much. So maybe I should have stamped that first. Oh, I've made this very difficult for myself. But we might have to do with this again. Do you know what? It's lovely to have people on this morning. Right, this might be wonky because I've not put the stickers on. And I do think my grain pad may need um, re-inking. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. We'll have a hello. We'll have a little hello there. Oh, Jill, I've just read your comment about your cross-stitching the other way. Well, as long as they're all consistent. So I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got a similar border, top and left and right. Now, of course, if you wanted to make... Um, a larger card uh, if you wanted to do a square card and um, so say if you wanted to do a card that was six by six you could do a big piece i'm talking myself into another design here i think you could do a big piece um and you could have more going across you could do all sorts couldn't you so i might have to come up with some designs doing that and you could make your squares a little bit bigger or do more of them and things like that so this is just going to sit here like that and it's going to sit with some foam pads dimensionals oh what have i got to show you shall i show you some new things coming out so i want to talk to you about um i've got a new product kit club called pretty paper share now i have sold four slots I need to sort of sell them in groups of four. So basically, it's £26 plus £4 postage and you get a share of a quart. Um, you get half. Is it half? Or quarter? I think it's half. Oh, I can't remember. It's on. It's all on my website. Of the papers, I think it's a quarter of a pack. It's a quarter of a pack of the new papers. But you also get a quarter of a pack of two celebration papers. Now... I'm going to be fairly lenient, and, and if you've already got this one, because you've got it there, you can choose. But you also get access to a Facebook group where myself and Claire from Australia, so it's called Pretty Paper Share with Julie and Claire. All the details are on the banner across the bottom of my screen. And um, there's an option to upgrade to the um, perennial postage bundle, which is fabulous. And you're going to get a PDF of card ideas the papers so that's Claire and I have, have put our resources together and we're also going to do a live as well so it's going to be fabulous I've got loads of nice new events coming up in 2024 so there are oh don't they look cute look it oh, two little quilts it would make a nice quilt these papers so there are today's cards so if anybody loves the bundle this bundle actually is available now, but if I were you, from the fourth of January, you could it's you can get a free item for every forty five pounds that you spend. So catalogs, some catalogs have already gone out to customers who I was already sending things out to, um, because I wanted to make use of the postage, so I didn't have to pay an extra postage because I spend so much on postage and have to buy the catalogues and then they cost a couple of pounds to post out. So if I can put them in with things, then that helps. Um, so the rest of them will be going out towards the end of this week. So 
thanks for watching what time are we on oh i'm thinking that i've been on for an hour and nine minutes but we didn't start till 11. <laughs> so yes there are um a little quilting card this one is the best one i've done it's a lot if you look at this one it, it i had to cheat a little bit and I had to do a bit of overlapping you probably can't see it from there but this one is a lot a lot better now if you were really clever you could do some stitching on your card as well but i've i've not got i've not got the facilities for that i would love to be able to so i'd love to be able to crochet i'd love to be able to do all the crafts but <clears throat> i'd rather do a couple well i tried the crochet it didn't quite work out <clears throat> okay so would anyone like to see some <clears throat> papers that are available we all love some papers don't we so I will show you some of the free papers. So these are called Sunny Days and these are free with a £45 spend. This is a full pack um, and you can get a quarter of a pack of these free if you join my Pretty Paper Share. So they're nice and bright fun ones. They've got flowers, strawberries, um, we've got rainbows on them. Oh, okay. I wish I could do the crochet. We've got this one's nice with the clouds on. And some clouds on the other side. That one's gorgeous. And then we've got one with cherries. And then a nice stripe. So you can get these. If you could get a whole pack free with a 45 order. You could join my paper share and get a quarter of those free. We've gone through the bird ones. I need to keep these because these are to send with my launch launch event kits. Now, these are very, very handy. I've sent some of these out as a prize to my team members who did, we did a bingo. So these are free. We've got a new bundle coming out. I can actually show you it, but these are the papers that go with it. So you've got tools that you can cut out. Um, we've got screwdrivers on the papers, we've got hammers, little nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts, and we've got measuring tape paper. Hi, Bab. Okay, so that's the trusty tools. In fact, I'll put those to one side to remind me. Um, these are called stippled roses, I think. And again, these are a free paper. So you will see all these in your celebration brochure when you get it. Lovely papers. And we do have a new stamp set that goes with these called Stippled Rose. This one's gorgeous. It's like a linen. And that's um, a lovely linen effect. Doesn't that look real? It's so textured. gorgeous if you want you can choose half a, a quarter of a pack of those free in your paper share i'm pretty flexible because i'll have some spares and then these ones i've forgotten the name but the shiny these are a freebie so these ones are all you get a full pack all free with a 45 spend and then there's pinks and hearts on the other side um, I will tell you what they're called. Hang on. I'll just consult my brochure. They're called Most Adored. And I actually thought they had Adored in the name. But I couldn't remember. Right, let me get some stamp sets out to show you. So. This is the stamp set that goes with the stippled rose papers, which is gorgeous. You don't need to do a lot with this stamp set. You've got sending thanks, congratulations, best birthday wishes and a happy Mother's Day. So there are some lovely samples already with that. Looks nice in colour, but also looks nice monochrome as well. Um, that's available from 4th of January. And this is the trusty tools. <clears throat> But I need to find the dies that go with them. So I've not even opened them yet. So 
so this is a job for this week is to use all this stuff and to do some lovely samples for you so we've got trusty tools stamps and then look at these dies are amazing you've got like your little pegboard die spanner um you've got drill paintbrush the end of the drill tape measure god hammer wrench pencil hammerhead bit there nuts and bolts just loads of stuff stuff i don't even know what it is or you can make a little toolbox there will be some amazing designs on there so what you could do is you could buy this bundle the stamp set and the dies and you could get the papers to match now i'd love some advice i'd love some advice on um coffee and cards but i think people might like to do that one because they struggle with mail cards so do let me know um oh hi Anne. do let me know if um you'd like that because i think that would be a great coffee and card and you could get the papers free so i think that would be a good one so they're the celebration papers that i have to show you And these are some of the papers that you would get in the pretty paper share. So these, oh man, I've forgotten the name of these, but they are gorgeous and they remind me of Love Heart Suites. So they're really lovely colours and designs. And they are six, look at that stripe. They are six by six. So you would get a quarter of those. These ones are just going to be so popular. They're the lavender ones um, and I'm doing a treat day at the end of March with these. I've got a payment plan for that where you can pay over three months. But also you'll get a quarter pack of these in the pretty paper share, but you can upgrade and get the bundle, one of the bundles that goes with them, which I would strongly advise if you can't do the treat day um these are some children's ones that i've shared which are fab cutting out so lovely little kitty ones really cute and i don't think i've got anything else opened i've got a couple more lavenders um yeah in there i've got a box that i've not opened yet and i know it's got some more papers in so I need to crack on and I've got so much crafting to do. What a hardship. Yeah. But I hope that's given you a little insight into some of the, oops, some of the new things that are on their way. Um, I always love this catalogue because I get a bit bogged down with Christmas crafts and the reds and the greens and things. I think it'd be a good coffee and card. I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to ask in my Facebook group. But I've got your seal of approval and you do join most of my coffee and cards. So I think it will be a good one. Um, so I will leave you. The dog is sort of still, she's trying to sleep, but I'm banging about. <laughs> so there are today's, this is today's card. Now, so if you've got some time today, obviously you won't have the bundle maybe. And you won't have these papers um, unless you're a demonstrator. But use some of your papers that you've got you only need really one card base a couple of pieces of white a punch shape and some papers and one one ink pad and this one stamp set and i'd love to see what you have a go at making um please if you're in my group i love the bubble bath version k as well so please if you're in my group please do um take a look and leave me a comment if you make anything right i am going to go So I've just popped back on to say have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely rest of the week. Um, I might try come back on again later on in the week, actually, if I've got chance. So take uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and have a lovely time today. And thank you so much for joining me. It's been lovely. I've really enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.